looks like we are going over. Love that enthusiasm. Everyone, please remain seated and keep those fingers crossed. All right, well, I saved me. Let's see about the rest of you. All right, we made it. which unfortunately makes them a huge target for poachers. Poaching is the largest threat to elephants. The second is habitat loss, which is also created by humans. It's forcing humans and elephants to coexist, which is dangerous for everyone. So how can we help them? Well, the first way is by participating in conservation efforts and donations. It's definitely helpful to show your support that way. The second way is by educating yourself and others, because creating an awareness is always the first step to making a change. Now, you'll see how some of these elephants have a light brown marking on their back. That is from dusting. Dusting is when an elephant throws dirt on its back and next is sunscreen to help protect their super sensitive skin. Also, when they flap their ears, they are not trying to fly, but that would actually be really cool. They're actually trying to expose the blood vessels on the back of their ears to act as a cooling system for them since it gets so hot here in Africa. You may also see a baby elephant out on the left. Baby elephants have a childhood of about 13 to 15 years, similar to that of a human child. But if you thought that nine months is a long pregnancy, try 22. Elephants are pregnant for about 22 months, and at the end they give birth to a 300-pound bundle of joy. Coming up on your left, you will see some greater flamingo. Greater flamingo are pink from the keratin in their diet of shrimp and other crustaceans, and they're the lightest pink of all the flamingo species. Baby greater flamingo are not actually born pink, they are born gray, and it takes about a year to a year and a half for them to get that pink coloring. Also, you do not call a group of flamingos a flock. You call them a flamboyance of flamingos. And we are going to have to get going. Because cheetahs, they can run up to 60 to 70 miles per hour, and my truck can only go to 8 miles per hour. So let's not test our luck on that one. Kobe rocks and their favorite hangout spot for lions. Lions like cheetahs love to hide in the shade and under trees and sometimes they wedge themselves in between the rocks so you can want to keep those eyes peeled. Down on your left, these are the scimitar horned oryx. They are named for their horns which resemble a Middle Eastern scimitar sword and believe it or not, they were declared fully extinct in the wild in the 1980s. But they were bred in captivity so they are no longer on the extinction list. You'll also see the lions up there. Now the lioness actually does most of the hunting for the lion pride while the male stays back and protects the pride. 
And lions are inactive 18 to 20 hours out of the day, which means that they spend a majority of their day resting, sleeping, or doing absolutely nothing at all. Lions on the now on your left, a better view of the lioness, and on your right, you'll see some white rhinos. White rhinos are named for the Afrikaans word vite, which is in reference to their wide, broad mouths and not actually the color of their skin. And unfortunately, they're another animal that has to deal with poaching on a daily basis. They are poached nearly to extinction for the hordes on their faces, which are considered very valuable on the black market. And it is a constant battle every day. Unfortunately, white rhinos are now considered a threatened species in the wild. Coming up down on your left, you'll see some eggs. Those are ostrich eggs. They can weigh about three pounds each. And on your right, another view of those white rhinos. that if they kick hard enough, they could break the jaw of an attacking lion. So they are very powerful, and you do not want to mess with a zebra. Now, if you folks are interested in seeing any more animals that you didn't get a chance to see on our fabulous two weeks together, be sure to check out the Pan County Forest Exploration Trail. It's located right next to Kilimanjaro Safari, so it's a 20 minute walk through where you have the chance to see some animals like gorillas, meerkats, naked mole rats, birds, and maybe even a cool underwater view of some of those Nile hippos that we saw earlier. Definitely something worth checking out. But keep in mind that both Kilimanjaro Safaris and the Pangani Forest Trail close at 5 o'clock today. So if you'd like a chance to come see my safari again or one of my safari friends, we'd like to go see if those gorillas are out and about. Definitely make sure that you check us out before 5 o'clock. Now it has been a great two weeks with you guys. It just flew by, didn't it? Yeah, it almost feels like 20 minutes and 55 seconds, but that's impossible. There's no way. It was definitely longer than that. Well, I am going to miss you folks so much, but unfortunately it is time that I drop you off at the nearest warden's post. So please check those netbacks for your valuables and gather them up. Otherwise, they are headed out for another two week safari with me. But as lucky as that would make them, we definitely want all of your valuables to stay with you. Make sure you check the floor and check the seats because stuff falls out of pockets all the time. We definitely don't want you losing track of anything. Well, once again, folks, my name is Broken and I've been 
truly a pleasure taking you on our two-week tour of the Harambe Wildlife Preserve. Now, I'm not going to say goodbye because it's just way too sad and final, and I know that you're all going to come back and visit me. So instead, what I'm going to say is Quaharini because that means to go well. So Quaharini, everyone. Quaharini! Quaharini.